Hey everyone, it's Ben Poole from Netgear. Hey, it's Willie. Today we're going to show you how to install the new Nighthawk switch on your own home network. And after that, we're going to show you how to access the switch in your web browser or your mobile device. Let's get started. Everyone's network is a bit different. We all got different devices. So Ben, how do we set this one up? So you want to take your existing modem and plug it into your router. This is a pretty standard setup that most of us have at home. Then you want to plug in the router into the new Nighthawk switch. And that is all you have to do. Great. Okay, so where do my other devices, like my, my iPad or like my cell phone, stuff like that, where do those come in? Right, so you want to connect all your wireless devices like your tablets, your phones, uh, laptops onto the router using the Wi-Fi. And you want to connect all of your data intensive devices like your smart TV, NAS, desktop computer into the switch itself. That way you can benefit from all the great features of the new Nighthawk switch. Awesome. Man, back at my place, I don't have a fancy setup with a router and a modem. I just have one device that my ISP gave me. In that case, Ben, what do I do? Right, so that gateway provided your ISP. First of all, I would say, get a new one. <laughs> so what you want to do is plug it into the existing gateway and then plug it into the Nighthawk switch. Very easy, very straightforward. Connect your wireless devices to the gateway and your hardwired devices onto the Nighthawk switch. All right, as you can see, everything's plugged in and powered on. Everything's connected. Now I'm going to show you guys how to actually access the switch in the web browser on your PC and also your Mac. On the PC, you want to go to your Windows Explorer. Now look to the menu on the left and click on the network. You'll probably be prompted to enable the network discovery feature. You definitely want to turn that on. After you turn that on, the devices in your network will show up. Now you want to go to the Network Infrastructure section and double-click on the Nighthawk S8000. Now your internet browser will pop up into the login page for the Nighthawk S8000 switch. And you can go ahead and type in the password, which is password. After you've done that, log in and you've reached the Nighthawk S8000 main menu page. On the Mac, you want to go to Safari. Now go up to the top bar menu to go to Safari and click Preferences. You want to be in the Advanced tab of the Preferences. Go to Bonjour and click Include Bonjour in the Bookmarks menu. Go ahead and exit the Preferences menu. Go up to the top bar menu to Bookmarks. Go down to Bonjour and click the Nighthawk S8000. Now type in the password, which is password. And there you have it. You are in the Nighthawk S8000 gaming and streaming switch for the Mac. In order to access the switch on your mobile device, you're going to have to set up a fixed IP address on the switch. So starting in the main menu for the switch, go to the IP address section. Now disable the DHCP client by clicking the blue DHCP button. This way you can change the IP address. Now change the last three digits of the IP address to 222 or any other unused IP address below 253 except 239. After you change the IP address, it should refresh to have you log into the page again. You can also bookmark the address for future use. Once you've set up a fixed IP address for the Nighthawk switch, accessing the switch on your mobile device or smartphone is easy. Just go to your preferred web browser and type in the IP address. Then all you have to do is go to that IP address and you're there. Type in the same password, which is password, and now you have access to the Nighthawk switch on your mobile device or smartphone. So that's it. That's how you set up your new Nighthawk switch on your home network. Happy gaming, guys. Happy streaming. And thank you for watching.